Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. I first have to say, happy birthday, Megan. Megan is my human daughter. I put an Instagram picture up and people were thinking that the cat is Megan and he's 18. So, uh, Be uh Ben. Louie is Megan's cat. Uh, Louie gravitates towards Megan the most in this family, sleeps with her, plays with her, and I'm just the food bitch. I'm the guy who feeds him and that's the way he treats me. It's not, it's not nice at all. Anyway, uh, she turned 18 today. Uh, she was born at like 10 o'clock in the morning this day, 18 years ago. And uh, so I took a picture of Louie and I saying happy birthday to Megan and people are thinking that Louie's Megan and he's 18. Come on, Louie's not gonna make 18. Look at him, he's huge. All right, uh, so yesterday we talked about, uh, I guess the biggest topic yesterday was the garbage. Uh, a couple things, my mom even commented, I think she commented on my Facebook and she's like, oh, and we, we uh, not only do we do all the recycling that we do, uh, we also do uh, deposit bottles. So all our beer bottles, beer cans, wine, alcohol, all that stuff gets returned to the liquor store. Um, uh, sorry, the beer store. The liquor store does not accept bottles uh, here in Ontario anyway. It's only the beer store and they return all those bottles that I just said and cans. And uh, so you'll never ever, if you see bottles, <laughs> uh, beer bottles or cans lying around, they don't stay very long on the side of the road. Uh, they're gone pretty quickly because I, I, I've always come to believe that one way to solve, let me just move it like that. One way to solve uh, garbage problems is to put a deposit on everything, especially uh, most, I think the most thing I see on the side of the road or whatever is pop bottles. Uh, like just plastic, Coke bottles, Pepsi, doesn't matter. If they put a 10 cent deposit on that, you'd never see that because there'll always be rich people and there'll always be poor people and the people in between. And usually the in between people to the rich people are the people that will th would, don't care about a deposit. So they'll throw it out the window and everybody from middle of the road down to poor will pick it up and uh, cash it in and get money for it. Uh, that's just one of my things. Uh, so another thing too is they'll do big huge bottle drives uh, for a hockey team or whatever and there was a hockey team in Alcona I believe and they did a bottle drive over two days and got $10,000 in beer cases and liquor and cans and wine bottles. So. It's a great way to raise money for a team. You just put it out there, see if the, the local radio stations, news stations, whatever, will give people a heads up that they're coming. And uh, they just go from door to door, like the whole hockey team, and they just pick up all your empties. Like, you know, sometimes, like in the in the garage, as you saw yesterday, there's, I think there's a, a two, four of beer bottles and about three liquor bottles, maybe wine. And, uh, you know, if, if a team came by right now, I'd be like, well, it saves me the hassle possibly of taking it back to the store and you're helping out a, a local sports team which is kind of cool so there's some more uh, recycling tips and things that happen in our house anyway so I got some uh, stuff I'm doing today I'm gonna try very hard and it's really been bothering me to get up to the food bank uh, I have three hundred dollars I'm gonna give a little shout out to some awesome people who have donated to the food bank and I just haven't had time to go and do the food bank thing. I was supposed to do it before Christmas, but I was just busy right up to the point where we went on our trip. And uh, so Curry and Becky, James, Alex, Baja, Nathan, excuse me, and, and Jackson. They all raised $245. I'm gonna kick in the extra $55 and we're gonna buy $300 worth of something. And so Carol on her brand new iPad has been, she, there's like a really cool app that, that tells you all the flyers of all the sales that are going on. So I think I'm gonna probably buy cereal. Um, I was supposed to buy Insure last time, but it's really expensive, it's like, I don't know, two, three dollars per thing. And uh, so I might phone them up 
before I go up there maybe and see if they need anything special. But uh, cereal is always super important to kickstart somebody's morning. You know, kids, adults, whatever, they need cereal. So uh, maybe we'll just buy $300 worth of cereal or a mix of things. Anyway, so let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, I'll try and get up there today. I don't know if it's gonna happen. At least I have a car today. Tomorrow, uh, possibly we'll try and drop it off. I wanna really make an informing video for my big channel. I wanna make, because I always do the, the food stuff here, I wanna actually do an actual food bank video for my main channel, just to explain to the people that are on the fence about what I do and uh, question it. Uh, so I wanna see them actually, you know, I wanna give the shout out again on the big channel to all those amazing people that have helped out with the food bank. Uh, again, I always encourage people if they can't donate, you know, uh, if they don't want to send me money to donate to my food bank, please go to your food bank and donate money there or food uh, or volunteer. If you don't have money and you have the time, go volunteer at your food bank. That is extremely important. All right, so I'm going to get busy. I got a whole lot of stuff I have to do. Uh, and then tonight we're going to dinner at uh, one of Megan's favorite restaurants uh, in Alcona. I think it's called JY Panda. All right, talk to you soon. And we're back. I'm heading up to Barry right now to uh, grab Megan's birthday cake from Dairy Queen. Uh, we couldn't get a, the one that's closest to us in Barry. We had to go to the one that's like right downtown Barry. Uh, the one that's closer to us. Both people that do the, I guess, the artwork on the cakes are both not in today. They're ill. And uh, so I had to go to a different one. Anyway, so we are heading up there. We are going to go to JY Panda for dinner. That's Megan's choice. Uh, they do make good food, though. And I'm feeling good today, so I think I'm going to go and indulge in some sushi. Whoops. Uh, I was putting my foot on the gas at the same time as I was putting my foot on the brake because my foot is so big. Uh, so. I finished all the business stuff that I had to get done today and that's why I'm heading up there so late. I was going to do the food bank stuff today and drop it off today but they close at 4 and there's no way I could have done the cake and dropped it off. It's like 5 after 4 now so I'm not even close to where I'm supposed to be. So I'm going to have to probably buy the food tonight so I'll videotape that tonight. Possibly just do the whole thing tomorrow. The lady said she'd actually wait for me uh, if... I told her I was coming there by 4, 4.30, and she'd stay there until I got there to drop the food off, because I'm finding it really hard to get up there during the day, because I'm so busy. So, yeah. I also wanted to cover the temperature right now. It is minus 11, feels like minus 18. Uh, if you want to convert that into Fahrenheit, go ahead. I don't know what it is. Uh, our gas price today has went past a gas station. <clears throat> 88.6 88.6 cents Canadian for a liter of gas. I haven't seen that in a very, very, very long time. Uh, years ago, maybe like six years ago, I took a picture of a gas um, station sign and it said 75 cents. And uh, I remember when I took the picture, some teenagers pulled up on a car beside me. They're like, why did you just take a picture of that? And I said, because you're never going to see that again. And it was just when I knew gas prices were going to climb and climb and climb. And uh, I think they kind of like snickered at me. And then they realized probably a year later when I was right. Now they're coming back down. <laughs> 88 cents. It's ridiculous. Who needs an electric car? See, there's the Dairy Queen that I usually get my cake from. Now I have to go up further into Barry. All right, there's the Dairy Queen. Time to pick up a cake for a little girl. <laughs> All right, let's park it. This is the, the Dairy Queen that Ben and I, or Megan or Carol, after we do like a dance recital, boys come here and, and uh, get a, a treat after working a hard day videotaping. Just be careful there. Well, I'm going to wreck your floor. Oh, okay, don't worry about that. Just be careful. Okay. 
All right, so uh, it isn't this one. It's the one. Supposedly the owner owns this one and the one at, in on Bayfield Street. And now I gotta go to a Hell Street. This, this is funny. It's the street that I do all my fast food reviews on because it has all the restaurants on it, but it's not a nice street to go and pick up a cake on at four, four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, let's go. Well, this Dairy Queen is at the Bayfield Mall. I was thinking that was at the Kozlov Center. And I bet I'm going in the wrong door like usual. This is what the Bayfield Mall looks like. It's crazy busy. Must be all the Christmas sales that are going on. See, it's well stocked. <laughs> You got your meat, you got your fan. Oh yeah, your fan cave. And of course, I don't know where I'm going. It turns out I parked at the exact opposite side of the mall that I needed to go to. And again, as you can see, this mall is very popular with stores as they vacate the premises. But if you want to get your nails done, that's a good place, I guess. And finally, the Dairy Queen quest has been fulfilled. All right, we picked up the cake. You guys get to see it before Megan does. You're so lucky. Look at that, oh, Batman. Megan loves her Batman. This store rocks. I'm gonna be coming back here. It's called Sir Games A Lot. And they've got some wicked, wicked toys for big boys, because these are expensive toys. Ooh, I'm not sure about you guys, but I just love these things. Someday when I get an office, look at that. Oh, I bet that's die cast metal. Yep, $439. Just in case you wanted to know what to get me for my birthday. Oh, look at this Hulk. See, I'd buy that. I need more money. Oh, Stormtrooper. Oh, I'm in heaven. I haven't been in here in a long time. Oh my gosh. I love Predator. Such a classic villain. Oh, and they've got the Predator masks. Okay, back to Megan. We, we gotta go. Oh wait, <gasps> maybe I can surprise Megan with a really cool little gift for my ice cream cake melts. But we ended up buying a, a cool figurine, Batman figurine for Megan to add to her collection. She's never had one of these before, so I'll have to show it to you in a bit. Cause I only have two hands. And one hand's holding the camera, and the other hand's holding a cake and her prize, or present, prize. All right, we gotta get home, let's go. Well, as you can see, we're back in the car and I thought I'd show you quickly what it is. It's this. DC Universe animated movie, Son of Batman. That's a very cool thing. She'll love it. If she doesn't, I'll take it back. No, I'm just kidding. She'll love it, because Daddy bought it for her. That's the way it works. I could have bought her mud. I thought I'd buy her mud. I'd just get it out of the backyard. All right, we gotta go. Okay guys, we're just signing off right now. We just came back from JY Panda. We had an awesome dinner with Megan and Ben and Carol. And uh, how was it, Meg? Great. Nice, so there you go. She does exist, like I always say she does, but she's never around, I'm so how could- I'm a talking cat. <laughs> That's it, it's Sunny. It's Louie. Louie, right. Louie is the 18 year old daughter cat that I have. Yeah. All right, so we'll talk to you tomorrow. Busy day, hope you enjoyed the quest for the cake. And we'll talk to you later, bye.